today's episode. St. Martin, man, we may never leave. Are you okay? I took shelter in the wrong spot. <laughs> the crew get adventurous and take to the island alone and try to survive the dangerous tourist traps and the unexpected weather. Yeah. Here he goes. Our first stop. Crew day off, we're in Phillipsburg Beach. How many of these a day do you do? A lot. Just one? Phillipsburg Beach is a cruise ship port with beautiful beaches, lots of shopping, and mediocre food. Beautiful. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, that's great. She's gonna love it. Then it was off to the most dangerous tourist attraction I've seen in a while, Maho Beach, aka Airplane Beach. Hey, we'll see if you don't like it, I love it. Just made it to the classic beach where you watch the you have to seriously take that do not stand jet blast seriously we just had a jet take off and it sandblasted everybody on the beach portion of this channel's ad revenue is donated to charity. Make sure to subscribe so we can help some people out together. Are you okay? I'm yeah, fine. <laughs> you don't look okay. Oh, I'm, just, I'm just peppered, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, I took shelter in the wrong spot. I gotta get in here. I cannot believe that this is a public beach. It is so freaking dangerous. Then we were on a mission to see how far around the island we could make it in the dinghy. Okay, we made it to Grand Cass. Like it's gotta be so hard to like just maintain a home down here. I oh mean, my God, it's right? It's constant, yeah. constant, you know, bad. I want to spear something. You got a spear on you? Yeah, I brought my spirit. I'm gonna spin this around, go back over this other section over here. Okay. You know what really blows my mind is that places like this that exist that I have no idea exist until I'm here. Yeah. Well, you hear about them and you're like, oh yeah, St. Martin's in the Caribbean. Yeah, it sounds cool. Right. But, but then, then like, you get here and you're like, damn. Oh, bugger. Yeah, get me up in there by that dock. Here goes. Until the unexpected happened. There's two Midwestern boys snorkeling in the ocean. They're so cute. Ooh, like, all the rocks down there have like a little bit of like active live coral on them that like sway in the surge. And you can't beat this water temp. Don't dump on this. It's not supposed to dump until later tonight. We got stuck in a bit of a squall. Good time for a picnic. Great time for a picnic. <laughs> And a Modelo. And a Modelo. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing we brought the umbrella. <laughs> Once the clouds parted ways, we decided to turn back to where we came, get cleaned up, and try one of those French pizzerias Captain Mark had told us about in the last episode. If you haven't seen the last episode, Captain Mark shows us the ins and outs of the island he once called home. If you want to check that out, I've left a link in the description below. Sunset to me, right? We've arrived. The next day, we ventured on land to hike to the highest point on the island, Peak Parody. Oh, you don't want to mess with them, dude. The trailhead happened to be my favorite place on the island, Lottery Farm. This was our last moments of play before it was back to work, getting the boat ready for guests to arrive. It is Nate's last day here. Our delivery crew is leaving today. So we have to get him back to the boat by one o'clock. It's currently 11, so we decided to come to Lottery Farms for a quick 
little hike. Make sure to subscribe to come along for the ride. Our first stop is St. Bart's. This is spectacular. We made it to the jungle. Yeah. Cheers, y'all. Right now, you're gonna see a commercial airliner come in and land right over these people. We dropped off Nate, our delivery crew, back at the airport and stopped at the airport bar to watch the planes land from a much preferred safe distance. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, leave your thoughts and comments down below. I'll see you in the next one. In the next episode. That was like the worst feeling ever to walk up to where you had parked the dinghy and the dinghy not be there.